So, uh, uh, welcome to Lincoln Shorts. This is Sean Roberts. I'm Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network. I have with me Larry Norton. You run the Brett, uh, the election reform program at the Brennan Center. Um, welcome. Um, so uh, I'm doing a couple of uh, uh, interviews with different elections officials, and you've been involved with elections for quite a long time, have a lot of huge amount of material out there. Um, so thank you for that, because it's, it's great, great research for somebody who's getting more involved. Um, but uh, one of the things that I'm trying to get across with so little time before the elections is uh, um, uh, answering questions from the voter's perspective. What should the voter do? So one of the questions is, what should the voter, what should the voter do if a, the voting center is congested, uh, meaning there's a long line um, mm -hmm. when you show up? What would, what would be the first thing you should do? Uh, well, I, hopefully you're voting early. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I, I do think we're, see, we're seeing huge turnout this year. Uh, and um, there are long lines already in a lot of places. The, the earlier you're going to vote, um, the more opportunity there is to, if there are problems on uh, when, when you go to the polling place, if it's too crowded for you to be able to come back later. Um, but, you know, hopefully you, you have enough time to wait to vote. That's essentially what I would say. Um, you can also, I should say, if there are problems when you go to vote, if, if it's congested, if there are long lines because um, machines have broken, and certainly on election day, um, if there are really long lines of more than, I would say anything more than a, a half an hour on election day is too much. Um, you can also call 866-HOUR-VOTE, um, which is election protection, uh, and they will, um, they have relationships with election officials. Um, they can talk to election officials, find out what's going on. Sometimes the election officials don't know that there are those long lines um, and they can go investigate what the problems are. Um, and they also, election protection has people on the ground. Um, so uh, again, if there are broken machines, if there's some problem with the electronic poll books that sometimes happens um, causing long lines, um, the election protection people on the ground can go and, uh, and investigate. So I would that, recommend that's that. countrywide? What's that? They're, they're countrywide or they're more, um, they are. Yeah. They're, 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 they're national 866. I will vote. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's great advice. So, um, essentially don't wait till the day of, um, cause then your options are limited. Um, if you vote earlier, um, depending on your locality, if they support that, then um, you'll avoid that problem. The, um, and I use the phrase voting center, which probably not a lot of people would pick up on, right. it's not an election space. A voting center typically is a place uh, that's uh, uh, regional, it's for the, the county, and it means that uh, there's usually less of them, uh, but they're a little bit larger, and it means that any person in that county can vote at that voting center as opposed to a, um, what's typically called a polling place, which is local, and there's a lot more of those. But I wouldn't be able to just roll up to any other polling place because they wouldn't likely have my information on mm -hmm. the paper registration, which a lot of polling places still use. So um, so the, uh, do you know of any options for... Um, uh, for being able to on your own um, figure out where the the nearest uh, the nearest next voting center is, you know, the, um, it's possible somebody figured out the, the closest one to them or the closest one to their work um, mm -hmm. for the day that's convenient for them to vote, possibly day of. Um, you know, do you know of uh, a common method for them to find the next available voting center? Yeah, well, first of all, we should be clear that some places don't have vote centers. So sure. I, I live in New York. We don't have vote centers in New York. We have, we have um, uh, early voting locations um, during the early voting period, which we only just got in New York. But, uh, but even okay. there, you're, you're assigned to an early voting location. So okay. I, I can only go to the one that my neighborhood is assigned to. I, can't, I, I live in Manhattan. I can't go to any uh, vote uh, early voting place in Manhattan. I have to go to the one that's for my neighborhood, basically. Okay. Um, uh, but um, in much of the country, in much of the country now, there are vote centers, particularly out West. Uh, and, um, you know, regardless, any information that you want to find, um, the best source 
the, the most trusted source is going to be your local elections office. Mm -hmm. That should um, tell you where to go. Um, there's something called um, that NAS is running uh, called uh, Trusted Info NAS is the National Association for Secretaries of State. Mm -hmm. um, and on their website, um, if you go, if you Google Trusted Info NAS, N-A-S-S, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, you'll find a page that will allow you um, to get the information that you need from um, your local election, election officials um, and, and your um, county or city election offices. If you, if for some reason, you know, if you're not sure how to get to that directly. Um, so that's another way to go. If you, if you aren't sure to just go to your county or city election website. Excellent. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I think that answers the question very thoroughly. Thank you. Um, this has been Lincoln Shorts. Uh,